Many students are back in school this week, and that means new concerns about bullying. Newly released numbers show Indiana schools are reporting an uptick in bullying incidents. WRTV investigates Kara Kenny has been tracking this issue for years and joins us now with what those numbers reveal. The newly released bullying report reveals Indiana schools reported 5,460 bullying incidents last school year. That's an increase from the year before. Bullying can have a devastating impact on students. That's why the Marion County Commission on Youth has pushed for schools to accurately report it. It can impact a student's ability to pay attention in class. It can impact their um, ability to succeed as a student. Schools are required to report bullying to the Indiana Department of Education. They documented 5,460 total bullying incidents during last school year, a 7% increase from the previous year. Even though we saw an increase, that's not necessarily bad information for us. Um, it shows that schools are actually reporting this. Of the 5,400 incidents, 2,000 were verbal, 1,600 physical, 618 social relational, 529 electronic or written, and 597 were a combination of categories. Only a handful of schools reported zero bullying. The Marion County Commission on Youth says that's actually a good thing. I would say it's big pro progress in the sense that of the list that we saw, only four schools reported zero instances of bullying. Um, with that said, we still think that there's a lot of underreporting going on. There's probably over 600 schools that reported five instances or less. Um, so we do still have concerns about that. Prompted by a WRTV investigation, the governor signed a new law in 2018, which allows the Department of Education to audit schools if parents suspect they're not telling the truth about bullying. However, IDOE has not done a single bullying audit. IDOE created this new online form for you to submit any discrepancies when it comes to your school's bullying numbers. McCoy says parents need to support their kids and schools need to report when students are bullied. There's a big concern that bullying goes underreported by schools and when it's underreported then it means it's not being addressed and then therefore children um, suffer because they aren't getting the supports they need at school. If you'd like to check out your school's bullying numbers, go to this this story on WRTV.com or the WRTV app. Kara Kenny, WRTV. And we noticed some schools are not listed in the state's new bullying numbers. Yeah, we reached out to the state to find out why that is, and we are working to get answers. A new bullying law just took effect July 1st. It requires schools to better inform parents when their child has been involved in a bullying incident. The new law requires schools to investigate bullying and notify the parents of the victim within three days and the parents of the accused bully within five days. In extreme cases, the victim or the bully can be transferred to another school at the victim's request.